Hallelujah, glory to God. This is prophetic intercession with Amel, and you are welcome. To me, it's always an honor each time I have the opportunity to bring you prophetic messages. It's always an honor because I know that it's not because I'm the most qualified or because I'm the most spiritual, but just because God, by his mercy, has chosen me to be in a position um, where I can give someone direction, where I can give someone guidance, counsel, or confirm the voice of the Lord they hear. So it's always a privilege for me each time God entrusts me with a word for someone. I do not take it for granted. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, or the first time maybe you've been seeing my video pop up on your timeline and you decided to click on it this time around, thank you so much. I always say it is not a coincidence, believe me. If God is leading you here, it's because he has something marvelous for you on this channel. And I always pray that God will, you know, help you stick around long enough to know why he connected you to this channel. Hallelujah, glory to God. Now, um, this prophecy, what I'm about to, to, to share, it's a little bit unconventional. It's not something you really expect expected maybe it defeats your theology or it defeats what you had taught you taught before but this is a word that is coming to keep someone in check it is coming to open your eyes so you do not fall for the trick of the enemy it's coming to sharpen your perception so you can already know what is happening around you so as to better manage the situation hallelujah you know, we think that um, fasting and prayers and they keep the devil very far away. There is a songwriter that sings, he says, I will pray, I will pray. If I don't pray, Satan will make mess of me. And it suggests it's like when you pray, it keeps the devil away. Not really, not quite. When you pray, it doesn't really keep the devil away. Most times when you pray, you get empowered power to face the devil you the, the bible says the prayer of a righteous availed much it has power because it fortifies you you know to so that you are able to face the adversary it doesn't really you know when people take extended fast they think because of that the devil is going to stay away from them or when you pray for extended a number of hours you think because you have prayed like that the devil is not going to have anything to do you with to do with you but that is not true as a matter of fact when you pray when you when you when you carry out intensive prayer programs or you fast for so long be ready to experience some backlash when you fast for so long, be ready. The Bible says that Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. No food, no water. You would think that when he leaves the fasting ground, he, he becomes immune to the devil. But no, immediately he left. Immediately he finished fasting. The first person he met was the devil. The devil was the first person he met uh, He met. After fasting for 40 days, 40 nights. So now when I when 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 the Lord opened my eyes to this, I began to ask God, why would this happen? Why will someone go on a retreat and when they come back, the first person they encounter is the devil? The devil is not is not scared of your prayers. The devil is not scared of your prayers, but what the devil is scared of is your knowledge of the scriptures. That is what the devil is scared of, your knowledge of the scriptures, your knowledge of the power you have in Christ. So how do you counter the devil? Through wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. These three things, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you have to, and you, you, you have to have 
knowledge in what knowledge in the scriptures how to defeat the devil by the scripture the bible defeated the devil by the scriptures every time the devil tried to question jesus's identity the devil tried to push him to the wall jesus was smart enough to always use the scriptures to counter mind you when you face the devil you do not face the devil which had knowledge you do not face the devil with mere wisdom no you've got to have insights in the word of god because the bible says that the devil knows the bible until he trembles he knows the bible so much that he trembles so if your knowledge of the bible is not good enough and you just want to use some kind of head knowledge he's going to manipulate you and you'll fall jesus was god son of god in the flesh but he did not try to respond to the devil by his own ability or his own knowledge he used the word of god he kept on saying it is written it is written it is written that was sending a message across to the devil to say i am not talking to you based on what i know i am talking to you based on the scripture based on the word of god whenever you finish taking a fast or you finish even when you take extended period of prayers whenever you finish the first thing you're going to encounter is a kind of temptation you will meet someone that wants to water down all the spiritual activity you have done so what are you supposed to do you've got to have a broad knowledge of scriptures because when the devil comes he's coming to test your depth in the word of god the devil is coming to test your depth in the word of god so you have to have a lot of scriptural insight to be able to resist the devil jesus won by the word you cannot win by another way jesus is our perfect example we know that already right yes jesus is our perfect example so maybe someone you found yourself in this position and you're asking yourself why i just finished fasting how come i am experiencing some kind of temptations i just finished praying how come i am because the devil is coming to test if actually your prayers have weight the devil is coming to test if you even know who i am you know christians say i i know who god says i am he, he, I, I, I know there's even a songwriter who says, I know who God says I am, what he says I am, and where he says I am, I'm at, I know who I am. And when you ask them, who are you? They cannot tell you who exactly they are. They cannot say, I am a holy priesthood. I am the head and not the tail. I am born of God. They just sing this the song to say i know who i am without any revelation without any depth so when the devil sees such a human or when the devil comes and meets you and you do not have scriptural backings in the things you do he's going to frustrate you so beware every time you take a fast every time you pray beware that the first person you are going to meet or the first scenario that will you will come across is going to test or put a demand on your knowledge of the word of god this is the part where so many people fail. this is the part where people cannot control it you know if you're short-tempered and you're faced with this with the circumstance before you know it you're already cursing and and the devil is like ah you've fallen i knew you were going to fall you have fallen in a nutshell what i am saying is build yourself with the word of god build yourself so much that when the devil comes knocking you can boldly say the bible says without being scared of maybe you're making a mistake or not you have to build yourself to that point hallelujah did you receive this word with gladness if you did and you are yet to subscribe please go ahead and touch that subscribe button do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live you will not miss out hallelujah and now may the lord bless you keep your cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken in the mighty name of jesus until i come your way Again, I remain your prophetic intercessor. Have an amazing day, Shalom.